What made you stop having a crush on them? Her friends told me that she was only hanging out with me to make her ex jealous. Time, once you realize y'all won't be together the crush is pointless, it's just a waiting game. The homie also has a crush on her. I just want the homie to be happy. I know I'm not your homie but I want you to be happy too. He talked about himself non-stop for two hours. My ex complained that I didn't talk much. There was one time when we returned home in silence. I thought it was okay since she didn't attempt to start a conversation either. Feels so stupid now when think about it. There was a mutual expression of interest, but I never once felt wanted or desired. They never messaged first. They never showed any kind of interest in me beyond doing a decent job at carrying a conversation if I started it. I couldn't do it. As someone who already struggles with self-love, if I'm going to be with someone, I need to feel like they actually want me. I don't want to be kept. Guessing. In grade 2 I had a crush on this guy and I stopped liking him because he lied about having 1000 Pokemon cards. This is the greatest offense anyone could make, definitely dodged a bullet here lol. He was aggressive in every aspect of his personality once you got to know him. All his stories were fights he'd won, he was always talking about how angry he was, and how lame people I knew were. Not impressed in the slightest. Very similar story for me as well. We both crushed on each other in high school and dated a handful of years after. He was great at first, then it was like a switch was. Flipped. He picked me up for lunch and we weren't sure where to go, so I figured we would figure it out on the way. All of a sudden he is yelling at me that I ask too many questions, I still don't understand where that came from, then got increasingly more angry. I was getting nervous so asked him to just take me home and we didn't talk the whole way. When we arrived he said if you get out of this car, it's over. I opened the car door, glanced at him and left. Not sorry in the slightest. Asked her to go out with me, she basically said no and wasn't very pleasant about it either. Hey man at least you had the bravery to ask. Honest answer, I have no idea, for years I would think of her every day, then one day, maybe five years later I realized that I had not thought of her in a while. I guess time. He told me, on a date, that he was wearing a diaper. Ah, uh, well was he incontinent or something? Nope. Fetish. Well I never had the nerve to make a move, so I did the next logical thing. Make myself stop thinking about them and lock those feelings away somewhere I'll don't bother going back for them. It works for more than just this kind of situation. We had a crush on each other, but one night she told me she didn't believe mental illness was real, and people that had it were just making excuses. I have autism. Honestly, going on a date with them, getting them one on one, we had zero flow between us in that setting. In a group of friends, she was gorgeous has a lovely laugh, and is so sweet. One on one, she can't really carry a conversation and what I took for cuteness actually came off as kind of ditzy when the conversation is just between us and no one else is there to move on from whatever the cute comment is slash was. I think we're great in a friend group, but definitely not compatible otherwise. When I saw how bad they treated their mom, figured I was next. He winked, constantly. He thought he was being seductive, but he just looked like Benjamin Franklin on The Office and it weirded me out. Back when I was a confident 8th grader, who didn't have emotional baggage, I actually told her I had a crush on her, and she cried. I remember going WTF, who cries over that, and my crush died then and there lol I just moved on. I miss when I was able to do that lol. They got in a relationship just realized at last how much of a waste of time it was. She got pregnant at 16, and four different boys asked if the kid was theirs, one of which was her brother. She didn't know. Told me he loved me while in a relationship with someone else. I realized if he was willing to violate his current relationship, he would have never respected ours. He also avoided telling me about his GF as long as humanly possible. She complained. A lot oh I hate this, some people make it their personality. Her husband. 
when he openly disrespected me in front of a bunch of friends at a party trying to come across as an alpha male. It was disgusting behavior to watch. The next day he called me, acting all sweet and trying to pretend what happened the night before never occurred. It was easy to get over him when I saw behind the mask. I found out he was a sociopath. At first I thought he was super nice and just like me, turned out he was just a chameleon. When I stopped talking to him because I found out about his anger issues, and put one and two together realizing his stories and his personality don't really line up, he started to send me page long emails telling me how terrible I am lol. By personality and stories don't line up. He'd tell me he doesn't care about much and that he was a chill guy but in the next moment he'd get super super pissed that someone didn't say good morning to him etc. I remember the first time I met him he gave off this almost larger than life impression he was some kind of saint and I believed it. Politics, politics, politics. Had one girl start going on a homophobic rant after we made out in the car. Like she starts talking about kids and whatnot, red flag in hindsight. And then goes on about how she would hate it if the kids were gay and how she would not accept it. I dropped her ass home and never spoke to her again. To be hateful like that is an instant turn off for me. It eventually became apparent that she had no intention of even trying to improving herself. I could have walked a journey of any length with her, but I will not sit at the start line forever. I hope she's doing better. I can't regret moving on, as my continued support would have only enabled the lack of action. She put up a major boundary because people were getting the wrong idea. Well if people thinking we might be together is the problem rather than anything I've actually done, that's a real big red flag. 5th grade. He dumped milk on someone's head. That was the end of that. He saw me and then put his arm around another girl and walked off. When they thought they were out of sight he dropped it and they started laughing. He wasn't with her, he was just making a point because he knew I was into him. Okay then. This was in high school. He's now balding and in a low-paying dead-end job, divorced with a kid or two. I lost respect for them as people due to how messed up their personality was. She turned out to be anti-vax and she believes that scientists made up dinosaurs. I was honestly more offended over the dinosaurs. She believes in ghosts and spirits but thinks dinosaurs are made up. The audacity. I didn't like her personality. Over the years, I've seen three things that make me stop crushing on someone, when they get too serious, too quickly. I love the idea of being in a relationship, but part of that for me is getting to really know someone before committing. So, I prefer to move slowly without pressure to put a title on the relationship from the other person. To being forced to win them. I don't care who you are. I don't care how great you are, there's billions of people on the planet, and you're not special enough for me to have to win over. I want someone who puts in the same effort as I do. 3 Showing signs that they aren't trustworthy. They cheated on a past partner, they're telling lies to their friends slash family, or me, they're not able to fulfill plans slash commitments they make, none of these are exclusively a reason I stop crushing on someone, but if the pattern presents itself, I lose interest. I was dating a girl for a while. Things were good, we had a lot in common, had good physical and emotional chemistry, and I was even going to meet her son. She had an 8-year-old son at the time who she wouldn't introduce to partners until they were very significant. What killed the relationship for me was that she just wasn't in a good place emotionally. She had a tremendous amount of baggage that she wasn't dealing with in a healthy way. I'm not going to shame her or say she's a bad person or bad partner. She's not. She's a tremendous woman who had unfortunately been through some s. She desperately needed to figure some things out. That baggage ultimately made it impossible for us to continue dating. She took it hard, and I haven't spoken to her since the night we ended the relationship. I hope she's doing well. I was in high school and had been crushing on this girl all year. Then one day, I was working on my Karen Auto Shop class, and she comes walking through with a couple of her friends. I'm covered in grease, holding a starter and she looks at me and says ah, are you learning to fix the car, like she was talking to a little kid. It came across so rapid and condescending that I basically felt the crush evaporate in that moment. It was so definite and freeing that I just laughed. I've tried. 
I planned activities, dates, etc., and she always cancelled. I can't keep running after her. I saw her skating with another guy during couples skate at the skating rink. I was 12. I was heartbroken. I went to sleep thinking about this girl. She was in my dreams, in my thoughts and in my prayers. I listened to love songs and finally understood what they meant. I also learned what sad songs were all about. One more try by Timmy I was my undoing. I couldn't take it. I put the cassette in my Walkman and thrashed the streets in my blades like I was in the movie Airborne or My Ducks. I didn't give a s anymore. I wouldn't slow down at stop signs. I'd bomb dangerous hills and called a squirrel CK sucker. It was a disaster. I couldn't eat, sleep, or focus on anything. Two days later I learned that it was her cousin with special needs but it was too late. The damage was done and I couldn't. Rebound. I don't want to be with somebody who doesn't want to be with me. She always has a boyfriend before leaving her current boyfriend. They were extremely flirtatious with just about every other guy. They ignored me when their friends were around. Nothing crushes a crush like the feeling of being used and discarded. She insisted on bad-mouthing her ex-boyfriend, just like she did her previous husband. Not into that high school game. When he started going out with a girl I couldn't stand. I figured if he can be interested in someone like her, he's not my type at all. This was back in 2005-ish though so it's ancient history. He tried to kiss my best friend, who is one, a lesbian two, on a healthy relationship three, rejected him twice, weirdo. When I found out last name wasn't real, asked him if he had a wife I needed to apologize to, that made him hit the roof, so I guess I was right. What in a hole he turned out to be. Drugs. So much speed and ecstasy every single night. She was gorgeous, smart, but lost herself to drugs and I was unable to help her in that situation.